got a nice house here, Pat. How big is it? It's eight feet high and 14 by 10 floor space. We've got 70 March hatch pullets in here. These will stay in here until next August uh, to test their laying ability. And they won't be used until after then for breeding. Mm -hmm. uh, we pay most attention to the male. You know there's a saying that the bull is half the herd. Mm -hmm. In our case, it's exactly the same. The male is more than half uh, of the pen. A hen only transmits her progeny to her own daughters, but he transmits his to 15 birds in, in the pen in which he's in. Mm -hmm. Well, how do these trap nests work? The hen goes in. The hen goes in the trap nest, and as she goes in, she lifts it. The catch which holds the trap up swings clear, and she then stays in there until somebody comes round periodically during the day and takes her out. On her leg, you'll see she's got a leg band, which, on which is a number. And this number is then put on the egg on which she's laid. These are then collected at night, and it's recorded on her own sheet in the egg house. Well, that sounds like a terrific job. And what a tie it must be. It, it is a tie, and it is a big job. But it must be done. You must have these individual records, and it's one thing that can't be skimped. Well, what's your opinion about this nucleus? system of breeding we've heard about lately. You know the thing, you divide your flock of hens up into groups of say 10 or 15, placing each lot in a separate pen or fold unit. The eggs are collected once a day in the usual way, and records are kept of the total number secured from each group. And then at the end of the season, the group which has laid the most eggs is used for breeding the following year. The progeny of those best hens are in turn divided up in the same way, and each group is headed by a cockerel from the original pen. Now, it seems to me the system of that kind is a lot more labour-saving than this trap net thing. That, that's so. It is. It would save labour. But it's not 100%. You, you may get a bad bird or two in your flock mating, which could uh, spread their progeny uh, through the rest of your flock. And we in pedigree work believe that your records must be 100% if they're going to be of any use at all. Well, how do you trace these records through to your your chickens? Because uh, it isn't just a matter of uh, which chicken is hatched from which hen, but uh, you've got to consider the male too. Well, if we go over to the incubator house, I, I think I could show you better over there exactly what we do. 